The following profile details the important events of this mission using approximate times. Five, four, three, we have ignition, two, one, zero, and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance, Delta IV rocket. The Delta RS-68A main engine and four strap-on solid rocket motors ignite to lift the vehicle away from the pad. Shortly after liftoff, Delta begins its initial pitch and yaw maneuvers to attain the proper ascent profile and minimize aerodynamic loads. Delta IV reaches Mach 1, the speed of sound, at 34 seconds. At 46 seconds, the vehicle reaches maximum dynamic pressure. The strap-on solid rocket motors, or SRMs, burn out approximately 91 seconds into flight. At 1 minute 40 seconds, the first two SRMs are jettisoned. Two seconds later, the remaining two solid rocket motors are jettisoned. The payload fairing is jettisoned at 3 minutes 14 seconds. Approaching booster engine cutoff, the Delta IV is burning propellant at the rate of approximately 998 pounds per second, flying at more than 111 miles in altitude and 224 miles downrange. Booster engine cutoff occurs just under 4 minutes into the flight. Six seconds after booster engine cutoff, the first stage is jettisoned. Second stage main engine ignition takes place at 4 minutes 15 seconds into the flight. The second stage and WGS satellite are now in the first burn. Following the second stage main engine cutoff at approximately 20 minutes, the mission enters a coast phase. Just over 29 minutes into flight, the second stage main engine is reignited for the second burn. Following the second stage main engine cutoff number two, the second stage and payload enter a coast period in preparation for spacecraft separation. At 41 minutes 44 seconds, the second stage releases the wideband global SATCOM satellite for the United States Air Force. <laughs> 